Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the first reaction video in this channel for 2024. And to start off, we are reacting to a video from Jin Hao Tan, which is the type of student on a school trip, which is a school cruise, as you say. Lah. But as always, before the video starts, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, plus turn the notification button so you don't miss any of my future videos. Also guys, I'll be very, very pleased if you can recommend me some more videos or channels or any video that I haven't watched yet that you want me to add to, be sure to put that in the comments. I will really appreciate that. It really helped me and help this channel. Now, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Guys, it's our first ever school trip! Everyone got your passports? You got it right here! Yo! Is this my ship? <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, it's our ship. It's our ship. It's our ship. Right, our everyone ship. get organized. Everyone in rows of twos. Partner up, partner up. Wait, wait what are you doing? Keep going. She's my girlfriend. But no. Hey, you know Denise! <laughs> I don't know. Just wanted you to know. Uh, so, that's showing back down to the screws. Uh, Background music at all. <laughs> Good choice of a song for this though. What? Did you just a cookie as well? <laughs> yeah, this one is turning more to like a vlog adventure instead of like a school trip. <laughs> this place is amazing. It has water slides, a beach club, zip lines, and even a whole theater. It is 335 meters in length, 40 meters in width, 18 decks high, and it has the capacity to host 3,352 passengers across the 1,674 state routes. Wow. That's very right. informative. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of information. But can you tell me the difference between a ship and a cruise? Look, the only cruise uh, I know <laughs> is Tom Cruise. The only cruise yeah. I know is Terry Cruise. The only Terry I know is Tom and Terry. <laughs> you mean Tom and Jerry? You mean the cartoon, Tom and Jerry? No, 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 Tom and Terry. You know, you watch really weird stuff sometimes, Kevin. Guys, guys, guys. You're not missing the point. We're actually on a school trip. Well, yeah, you should say we're actually on a cruise. Why yeah. Why the organization organize for us? Wow. Well, it's actually there must be a catch. 100th year anniversary. So maybe they just want to motivate us. See, the organization isn't that bad after all. Oh, it's bad. Maybe the problem is us all along. No, it's but not. <laughs> well, sometimes it is, though. <laughs> nothing goes wrong. I mean, we're on a boat in the middle of the sea where we'll possibly have no reception, treading international waters, separated from civilization for the next few days. What could possibly go wrong, right? Don't be dramatic, Vincent. Yeah, Vincent. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah. The jet. Why they they're jinxing it right now? <laughs> I can't swim. Wait a minute. I can't swim either. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> uh, it would be a shame if a shark comes up and eats you. There's sharks here. All right, all right, everyone, gather around. I expect all of you to be on your best behavior during this school trip. Now, form a line. Now, I want everyone to bear in mind that we are in the eyes of the public at all times. We are now Titan Academy representatives. So I hope everyone cooperates because it wasn't easy getting permission from your parents to allow all of you on this trip. Mm. Mr. Dan will be assisting me to chaperone all you Oh, Mr. Dan, seriously? Time. Then this right, trip Dan? is going to be cruise. Mr. Dan? <laughs> Screw, I mean. Where's Mr. Dan? <laughs> Hey, nice whistle. We have the same whistle. Do you wanna share whistles? How about I blow Seriously? Mine? I, blow mine. I blow yours. Huh? Dude. Hey, come back. Is that Here's a pickup line for you? Yes, That's way really yeah, bad. I'm assuming you've already done roll call? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All, everyone's accounted for. Don't worry. Do we really only have 14 students? Who could possibly be missing? Vicky? Vicky! Oh. Wait, is it really Vicky not there? Oh my gosh, it's really moving. Guys, is it safe? I don't feel good, man. I don't feel good. The live boats, when was the last time they tested them? And if there are enough, then who goes first? The women, the children, pets, cats, dogs? Oh, yeah. Are pets allowed? I don't understand, guys. Hey. <laughs> uh, guys, I think I'll put this on. <laughs> Or maybe you just stick by me and I'll feel so safe. You can be the voice to my jack and you'll never let go. Uh, huh? no. You can do the Titanic pose, you know, the no. do do do, <laughs> patient come. <laughs> hey, Kevin. Patient. <laughs> the one in holiday mood. Diana Juhi, what are you doing and what are you wearing? What if the public sees us like this? 
I mean, it's not that oh, bad. Vacation, Madam Subing. Yeah, Madam Subing. Chill. Live for Leo. Well, we have a full day of activities today and falling behind on just one of them will mess up everything. Isn't that right, Mr. Dan? Guys, we have a water slide. Let's go! Even Mr. Dan. Dan. <laughs> Am I the only adult here? Yep. <laughs> The seasick. Ooh. Oh, guys, I don't feel so good. Vincent? Really? I don't tell the captain of the ship to fly it straight. I think I'm sick. What's wrong with you? The ship is not even moving. We're still docked. Oh, no, I just feel so nauseous. It's all figure out what's happening. What you're feeling is probably seasickness. And this happens because your inner ear that controls your sense of balance is just confused by the boat's movement on the water. And because this sends a mixed signal to your brain, it confuses it, and then the brain releases a stress hormone and this causes nauseousness, it causes you to feel a little bit giddy. Oh! Oh, man! And sometimes, even vomiting. Here, take one of these. Man, that sucks. And he was, he was so excited for this. <laughs> Wait, why is this music playing? Oh. Are you sure you and Denise are alright? <sighs> it's complicated. What's so complicated? Just ask if she still has feelings for you. Yeah, you're right. I'm sure she does. Maybe that's what I'll do. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, man. Hey Denise. So I was wondering if um, I could ask you uh, questions. Mm -hmm. Hi. Oh. Hi. Hey Maddie. So you said you had a question? Uh. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Maddie interrupted a serious in question. Serious question. <laughs> the seasick pill. You're feeling seasick as well. E I'm feeling homesick. Uh, it's only been an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Sick of being at home. Huh? No. School trip's great, right? You still need this? Yeah, I'll take uh, I'll take it. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna hit up. Hey, Maddie oh. ruins everything. <laughs> enjoy. Enjoy your talk. The overly and friendly. And alright, that's a nice photo. Oh, is Thank that the rich anyway. guy? We're the students of Titan Academy, and of course, we're the top of our class, Class T1, T5. Yeah, and this year, we're celebrating our 100th anniversary of the institution. That's right. Of course, I'm the main leader and photographer. What about you? What are you here for? Well, I'm here for one thing and one thing only. That's to propose to my sweet, beautiful fiancé of Ooh. five years. She deserves nothing but the best. Take a look at the ring. Ooh, wow, that's wow, good. That's a nice ring. Can I see that? Yeah, I mean, right. Wait. Yo, guys, look, he's proposing. Look at this. So cool. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, whoa. Why are you exposing? Be careful with that. It's a very expensive ring. Yeah, and sure. definitely you can't pay for now, it. Run along. I got something fun to do. All right, cool, cool. <sighs> now, what should I do first? The over dramatic. All right, guys, so how long are we going to be here for? It's just going to be three days tonight. It's not going to be that long. Three days tonight? Are you serious? Yo, I'm, I'm gonna be his home. I've never been away from home for so long. Seriously? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna call my dad. Wow, already. <laughs> he was home Hello? already. Dad? Yeah, can you come pick me up? Huh? What's my coordinates? I don't know. I'm somewhere in the middle of the ocean. Wait, hello? Dad, oh, hello? no, they lost dad? reception. <laughs> oh, this feels so bad. <laughs> huh? Wait, he has the ring? What? Ooh, shiny. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh wow, Vincent. Wow. What is this? Oh. Okay, this is Hey. I saw you are in Denise just now. Can't you leave her alone? She's with me. There are just a few things that I need to talk to her about. So I thought this trip may be a good time. So stop hovering around her. Whatever talk you want to have with her can be with me, her mans. She can make her own decisions. She doesn't need you to babysit her. Fine, whatever. <laughs> what are you laughing about now? Uh, let's just say I've taken a little liking to some jewelry. What? Where did you get that? There's no way you bought that yourself. On the yeah. floor somewhere 
And you know what's funny? There's probably some girl out there going, eh. And wow. Vincent, you're so bad. <laughs> okay, stop, stop, stop. You know what? You should really return that to the lost and found. You know what? You should really shut up. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm taking this spot. And that bed too. Yeah, I, got, I like to switch it up. You can take the sofa. Wow. But not this side. Yeah, let me decide. Whatever. Very good view. Very good view. Yeah, I'm really roommate. Oh my, even the these two. <laughs> yeah, this is I definitely gonna be complicated. Again. Complicated. <laughs> Let's split the room evenly into half so that we don't overstep into each other's boundaries and personal space. You know, they shouldn't have, have put get two beds for this. Instead of just what, one king size bed. Whatsoever, which are actually very common predicaments when it comes to room sharing. I'll even let you pick your half first. But what if one of us needs to use the toilet? I am way ahead of you on that. I have prepared yep. toilet passes. And the we will also visit the balcony. Always prepared. <laughs> Sharing okay, together okay. in the room? Me too. As long as there are no zombies again. No zombies again! <laughs> the one who tries to change the room. Ready? Just the person I need. Wait, 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 just, wait, it'll be quick. Come on, it'll be quick. What are you doing, Jason? Why are you I taking got, me? Trust me, I got a proposition you can't refuse. So, Maddie, how about, you know, we swap rooms? Well, you know, since Denise and I are dating and... Plus, I got special plans for this cruise. Why would I do that? What's in it for me? So you get to room with Chanel. Win-win situation, am I right? Plus, Ben and Sue Bang will never know. Oh, I think she will. Oh! <gasps> oh, no. If you're thinking about swapping rooms, well, let me just tell you that swapping rooms will not be happening on my watch. The arrangements that I have made are absolutely final. Fine. Too bad, Vincent. <laughs> yeah, so... I said no co-ed rooms. Yeah, then. What do you think I go work it a second time? <laughs> the messy roommate. Ah, found it. What? Where am I gonna put my clothes? Don't worry, I love your spot. It's right there. Wow. The balcony. <laughs> yeah, it has the best view, and you can even dry your clothes. You cannot be serious. <laughs> The VIPs. <laughs> Welcome Whoa! To my wow. This is way better. Wow, the room is huge. Wait, how, how do you? Yeah, how do you get this room? It is one of the many perks of being a hall monitor. Wow. Oh, monitor. Wow. If I had a choice, I would never leave this place. But then we have an itinerary to follow. Renisian, who do you think made the itinerary? Um, Madam Subing, Mr. Den. <laughs> Wrong. And wrong. <laughs> I make the itinerary. So everything I say goes. And we are going to the hot tub. Now hand me my speedos. We are going to uh, speedos? <laughs> wow. Why would your speedos be with me? <laughs> hey guys, before we get food, let's take a group photo. That's enough photos, Kevin. Let's go get our food. Let's go. Alright, can I come? Can I come? Come on. Let me vlog it. Let me vlog it. Well, it's actually like vlogging the thing. We <laughs> know worse. Do we look at it? Why are you not eating Kevin? Can you stop wobbling? Can you stop? Ah! <laughs> wow, Vincent! Eat with your mouth! Close. <laughs> but Kevin just gotta lock everything up. Hey guys, huh? I think he's choking. Kevin, 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 Kevin. Wait, what? Choking. What's wrong, Kevin? Oh, he's actually choking! Oh my god! Wait, is he gonna die? Is he gonna die? Oh no. Should we do? Woo! That was that was close. You okay, bro? You okay? You okay? 
What a loser. Stop recording. Okay, get it together. Yeah, just enjoy the food, man. Alright, students. As you would know, tomorrow's another long day. So your curfew is well approaching. Let's call it a night and get some rest, okay? Man! Why more party at night? <laughs> Wait! Guys! What? What? I heard that on this ship, there is a club that opens till late. So I say, after our curfew, we all meet at the club at 10 p.m. 10 p.m. That's right, 10 p.m. Oh. It's late, isn't it? Are you sure we should be sneaking out? Yeah, I don't think I'm comfortable with that. We but I see like some strangers at the back, like okay, looking okay, at them. <laughs> I'm not suggesting we should sneak up. I'm saying we should all just move quietly without anyone noticing. It makes sense. It makes yeah, sense. yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, sense. sense. Should we also invite the teachers? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no, no, no. no we I know what y'all are planning. Oh, Mr. Dan! And I'm here to warn you. That is gonna be the best party of your life! Oh! Hey, can I come? Wait, who are you? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> can I come? <laughs> <laughs> now all the strangers are coming in already. <laughs> Why not? Oh, they're already in the party already. <laughs> wow, where are you showing with the moves? <laughs> Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> I wonder if Magic Rain will come here. <laughs> this is what you meant by club? Yeah, what were you thinking? I thought we were gonna play chess. Oh chess my god. Ah, no! We are gonna play chess. Wait, what? How to play chess? What chess? Just not that kind of chess. What do you mean? What kind of chess? That kind of chess? What? What kind of chess? Oh my what god. What kind of chess? Hello. What kind of chess? Chess. Uh, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> do you think Madam Subing will find out about this? No, trust me. I'm pretty sure she's asleep by this point. Let's go. More energy. More football. What the hell? <laughs> Why is he playing just oh, dance? Yes. What? <laughs> oh! Oh, Janice just took but Denise! Oh! Okay, okay, here we go. F okay. Find some alone time for these two. So I know things got a bit complicated between us, and we haven't really had the chance to talk about it. But it's really nice spending time with you like this again. And uh, I was just wondering if. Uh, Come on, say it! Yes. I know what you're gonna ask, and the answer is yes. What? But at this moment, I am dating Vincent, and I oh. myself and him that I will give it a chance. Oh man. Of course. Look, I don't really know how things are going to pan out for us in the future, but I just really want you to know that I miss you a lot. Well, I. And no matter what happens, I just want oh, you to be man. happy. Even if it's not with me. I hope Vincent makes you the happiest person in the world. I doubt that. <laughs> do you really mean that? Let's just pretend I do. Well, in that case, then I also like to let you know. Hey, oh, oh damn! Damn it, Vincent! Such a romantic spot. Hey, don't worry. I told him to do it. Anyway, we got this for you. Oh my hey. God, what? Vincent, you idiot! You got this for me? Don't you think that this is a bit too early? Yeah, whoa, whoa, way whoa, too whoa, early. Down, girl. It's just a promise ring. A promise for me. 
for you to treat you the way you're supposed to be treated. I'm still here. Yeah, stay there. Now come on. Let's go to the party. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, here comes Maddie. Hey, Maddie. You feeling alright, Jen Hao? Yeah. I know I can't deny that you still have feelings for Denise, but it's okay. I promise I'll do whatever it takes for you to help you get over the feelings you have for her. Wow. Alright. It's gonna be tough. What if I'll never be ready? Sometimes, you don't have to be ready for everything, and that's okay. Oh! What is this? Oh man! Damn, this changes a lot, everything! Well, I'll give you some time here alone. Just let me know when you wanna hit back. Dang. Hey. Are you here to confess as well? Because it's already getting as complicated as it is. Uh. I confess ah! that you are that in a trouble, young man. Oh no. No! Oh, man, stop. Ah. Ah, 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 ah. 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 Alright, so that's there, dude. Huh? Wait, what happened? Students, wake up! Huh? <gasps> What's going on? I can't move my hand. What? Wait, what happened? <laughs> Did they go get kidnapped? Okay, so that's the end of the video of the types of students on a school trip or on a cruise, as should I say it. So yeah, although like this one, this video is showing a lot like what students will do in the, on a cruise, this has turned to more into like a huge like romantic uh, drama thing la, in the end, I mean. So yeah, I want to first say it's quite been a while since we saw uh, Jin Hao and his crew on a, on a cruise. La, because the only time we saw it, they were stranded on the island at the beginning of the scene. They were going on a boat trip, but then they got sunk and then they had to jump overboard and then they were stuck on an island <laughs> uh yeah that was the only time i ever saw them on the cruise uh, well until now like this also i want to point out something when they say about a school trip normally when they say school trip it means like either going to an amusement park or go to a museum or go to a like something educational so having a school trip on a cruise that's really really top notch and it's mostly like for a holiday thing so it's not, I don't see the sense of this actually be a school trip. So it's a bit like way different than a regular school trip, but it is uh, quite uh, intriguing to see though. So first off, the forgetful scene, uh, it shows that uh, they actually miss out one student and it's finally Vicky, <laughs> Man's daughter. So I'm just, I got two things to say. First off, normally when they announce like, uh, the students, like how many students they have, they normally announce it at the bus on the way to the cruise. So how can you miss out uh, one person like that unless they went to a start and forget about it? <laughs> and secondly, it's Madison and like she's the head teacher of that class. So how did she miss out of the her own daughter? That is so like, I, I don't want to say bad parenting, but still it's a bit like uh, something like that lah. <laughs> Next up for the holiday mood, uh, this one is like definitely true because like when you go normally in, like in a school trip, you either just go have fun or stuff. But you if you bring some students at a cruise, it's already turned into a holiday mood already. Like, you, there's no point like like trying to convince them to go to work because it's already in the holiday mood. You can't stop this. <laughs> like what do you expect when you decide a school trip on a cruise? Like it doesn't. <laughs> It's not education, much of education, it's more to like a holiday. <laughs> now, the seasick uh, scene, I, I'll be honest, I have never experienced seasick because I'm most used to the book already. But I do know some people who experience seasick and it does occur like what Denise says and also a lot of vomiting of course. So if you ever go to, uh, plan to go on a cruise, 
you better make sure that the people you bring and you are not seasick to it. Like, because if you are, then it'll be a real waste of a holiday because it'll be like whole day just vomiting and just being sick already. Then there's no point of going to a cruise. Lah. So, I mean, if you want to to go to a cruise, I mean, like you can just go inside, just have fun for like few hours and then just bounce off already. Like, I don't think they allow that, but um, that's my only option like, if you want to enjoy a cruise. Lah. But other than that, if you are seasick and doing a, if you want to go to a cruise, I must say, please forget it. It's not worth it unless you want to be sick all the time. Lah. Now for the rival scene, uh, this one is uh, mostly just to say like they still like quarrel about Denise and like Vincent say like she's mine now so uh, you have to deal with it and she, when he pops up the ring and it's like Jen like how do you where do you get that you know you can't afford that and then like Vincent was being an ass and th- claiming that it's his and then like I don't know where she pops it up to Denise and <laughs> decided to give it to her like are you kidding me you're not proposing you're still too young in this like a titan's school age lah. I mean, now he's old enough to get married, but still, in school, like, in school thing, you cannot, you cannot do that. <laughs> now, the one who tries to change room scene, uh, this one can occur to a lot of people who wants to change rooms. I mean, I never experienced this kind of thing, but I do know that there are people who want to change room for, like, for getting closer to people and to be with their friends, all that stuff lah. But, oh no, if you, at this kind of, like, school trip and then you're like in a hotel the teacher would caught you at some point i know that because i was in a school trip and we had to do the hotel thing and then like we somehow got caught because we had so many people and then they kick us out low <laughs> so if you ever try to change your rooms uh do it sneakily because they will caught you la event the teacher will caught you eventually la <laughs> Now, the VIP scene, uh, I must say, I'm surprised that Kevin was able to get the VIP suite because that actually looks quite cool. Uh. And I wait for Rainy Sun to have be his roommate. That is already like very benefit for him already. Uh. I guess like it's got credit to being the whole monitor. Uh. Now he got the VIP suite. <laughs> I mean, very impressive, uh, Kevin, for getting this kind of room. Uh. So yeah, I have nothing else to say uh, other than like I'm very impressed with Kevin. Uh. <laughs> Now for the scene where they go to the cafeteria to get the go to the buffet and then the whole plan of like going to the club thing. Uh, I just want to point out something that the straight the background the, you can see that a lot of the the passengers in the background were like listening to what they say and it's really quite funny for me because they like uh are we in front of this film <laughs> I don't know if I should stay or just go around something like that. <laughs> it's actually quite funny to see like and then when they say like when Mister Dan came in and say like. This is gonna be the best time of our life, and then there's some strangers like, "Hey, can I come too? Can I come too as well?" Then I just keep going, going. Oh my god, it's quite funny though, at this point. <laughs> and now finally, when we get to the most important scene, the scene where Denise and Jin Hao uh, express their feelings after the their situation, and Jin Hao did say that she still had feelings for Denise, and Denise, I think she does say that she still had feelings for him, but he still he. She decided to give it a chance with Vincent, and I don't know. This still counts as like she may still have feelings for Jin Hao, but there's maybe still like a chance for Jin Hao and Denise to get back to each other, lah. Plus, when Denise and Vincent uh um go already, and then when Maddie show up, it's like uh I'm a bit confused, and it's it's quite imp- like curious already to see what's going on and then when she hand in the envelope i was actually wondering what's in the envelope is it means like they're breaking up or they like uh trying to make a go out of it i mean like i think she did say that she will try to uh make jin hao like forget about denise maybe but um uh, that's quite dedication uh, to now a new relationship happening here with vincent and denise and then jin hao and maddie legit like it's a roller coaster romance for this channel already, la. So, I'm actually curious to, to see how this relationship will go with between Jin Hao, Maddie, and Vincent and Denise, la. Plus, I'm also curious at the end of the scene, la, Like, it shows that they were got sacked, and I, it feels like they got kidnapped for some reason. Like, what happened during that time? Did they party too hard, and then like so all of a sudden they got kidnapped or something? I don't know. But we will know soon enough in the future Jin Hao Tan video. Well, it's already released uh, at this point. But still, I'm actually quite curious to see what has happened to, uh, 
to this last and is it related to them or is it like something other matters happening i don't know we'll soon find out <laughs> well i will soon find out now <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna end this here for today guys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, plus turn the notification button so you won't miss any of my future videos. Also guys, I'll be way way pleased if you can recommend me some more videos or channels or any video that I haven't watched yet that you want me to add to. Be sure to put that in the comments. I really appreciate that. It really helped me and helped this channel. Also, make sure to go check out Jinhan Tan's channel. Links will be in the description. So yeah, that is all. Hope to see you guys next time. Take care and peace.